you are most welcome to my channel, Learn Chi or Learn with Opoku. In the previous episode, we learned the two fundamental rules that we need to know. As far as negating verbs, that should be prefaced with M, are concerned. So we are saying that if the verb begins with any of these consonants, please just negate it by what prefacing it with M. But if by so doing, you get this combination, MB, if by prefacing the verb with M, you get MB, then double the M and then do away with the B and the verb will be in the negative form. Good. Now we're going to the next one and that is verbs that require the prefix N in order for them to become negative. And that is easy, isn't it? If a verb begins with a consonant which is not P, B, F or M, then it means you will have to preface it with what? N and it will be what? Negative. That is that. Let's look at some of the examples. We have to, and that is what? By. If I say to, I mean by. She, wear. She, atadieno, wear the dress or wear the shirt. She, she, to wear. Ko, after that one, you are familiar with it. Go, ko, listen, tie, tie, that is listen. These verbs, as you can see, this one starts with T, it's not here. H, it's not here. K, it's not here. T, it's not here. That means for them to become negative or for them to be negated, you have to preface them with what? N, and they will become what? Negative. It's as simple as that. So let's see. To will be hot. Unto. She will be hot. Unshe. Ko will be hot. Unko. Tie will be hot. Untie. So to in the negative form will be hot. Unto. Don't buy. She. Wait. In the negative form it will be hot. Unshe. Don't wear or don't wear it. Ko, go. Nko, don't go. Tie, listen. Ntie, do not listen. So what did we do? We only prefixed each verb with N and they became what? Negative. That is all. So we are saying that other consonants... If you want to negate them, if they are not beginning with P, B, F, and then M, then if you want to negate them, just preface them with what? N, and they will become negative. However, so this will be the third rule. This is the third rule. However, in the process of prefacing the verb with N, you get any of these three combinations, three combinations, let's see them. Yeah, if by placing the N before the verb, you get ND, NG, or NJY, then you will have to double the N, and then N, the preface, will be pronounced long as what? Mm. So this brings the fourth rule. Let's get some examples. Yeah, let's look at these verbs. When we say D, it means what? Eat. Do. Clear the wheels. Clear the wheels. Eh? Do. With a machete. And then you are clearing the wheels. We say 
you are weeding oh drop oh drop mm, drop to clear weeds go go that is to lose something if for instance I make a knot from this and it's too tight and you want me to lose it a little bit then you can say go mu go mu lose it so go means what to lose something good and then we have go go means what to cast something mm? if you have a net and you want to cast it in order to catch fish we say go go as a uno go as a uno that is what cast the net as a is net that is used word harvest fish so go means what to cast jai stop jai means what stop but look at these combinations yeah if you want to negate these verbs di do go gu jai if you want to negate them this one if you place n here you will get this combination isn't it yeah you get this combination nd and here too you get nd here you get ng here and here you get what ng and then here if you place n here you get n j y you see good when you get these combinations as we have said the n should be doubled so what will happen here here if you want to write the negative form it will be this don't eat meaning no 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 ni ni don't eat so what did we do we doubled the n and it became what ni when you say that then it negates the verb d will now become what ni do will become what no no don't wait what did we do we double the n and the d vanished no some tree learners and non-native speakers you hear them say ndi ndo that is wrong it should be ni no okay go gum lose it lose it will become what don't lose it ngo ngo so we what double the n when you get this combination that is what ng ng let's look at this one okay go to cast if i want to say do not cast no that side you will not get fish you will not get fish don't cast so you double the n when you get this combination ng you double the n ngu but you will not do away with the j you maintain the j ngu what about jai stop jai chi we have two words for stop but yeah we have what jai and we have what jina this one jina when you are walking and i want you to stop i will say jina i will not say jai no i will say jina that means stop walking or stop running jina a car moving 
and I want you to stop. I will say, Gina, Gina, for what? Stop when you are walking. But if you are doing any other activity, for example, a child comes and takes this spray. She wants to spray here, you know, children. Yeah, just like that. And I want the child to stop. I will say, Jai. I will not say, Gina. But I will say, Jai. Jai. Okay? Not with anger. We need to treat our children with what? Some sort of love, but at the same time, we have to correct them. Yeah. So I will say, Jai. So Jai, we say Jai when we want you to stop some activity that you're doing. And we say Gina when we want you to stop from what? Being in motion. Good. So Jai, that is to stop, will become what? Nyai. 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 Double the N, but the J will vanish in this case. So we get what? Nyai. Do not stop. Keep on going. Do not stop. Yeah. So in all, what are we saying? We are saying that for you to negate a verb in chi, first of all, check. Does it begin with any of these consonants? Okay, yes, then preface it with M and it will become negative. Good. Does it begin with these consonants? Yes. But the first consonant is B, so you are going to get MB. Then double the M. That is the second rule. Okay. It does not begin with any of these consonants. Then, preface it with N, and that is the third rule. So, if you have TO, which begins with T, which is not among these consonants, then you have to preface this with what? N, and it will become NTO. However, if by placing N before a verb, you will get any of these combinations, ND, NG, NGY, then double the N, just as we have done here. Here, if we place N here, it will be ND. So in order to get the negative verb, we wrote NN. And we had the negative four. So this brings to the end of this lesson. And I hope you are enjoying it. How would I know? Keep subscribing to the channel. The more I see people subscribing, I am motivated to give you more. Thanks for watching.